First Things First by Stephen Covey and A. Roger Merrill delves into time management and personal effectiveness, emphasizing a principle-centered approach to prioritizing tasks and activities. The book proposes a framework to help individuals discern between what's important and what's urgent, advocating for a focus on important matters that contribute to long-term goals and values rather than being solely driven by urgent, but often less significant, tasks. The authors introduce the time management matrix, which categorizes activities into four quadrants based on their urgency and importance. They argue that people often spend too much time in the urgent but less important quadrants, neglecting the activities that are important but not urgent. The book encourages readers to invest more time in quadrant two, which comprises activities such as long-term planning, relationship building, personal development, and preventive measures, fostering a proactive and goal-oriented mindset. Moreover, Covey and Merrill stress the significance of aligning one's actions with personal values and long-term goals. They advocate for creating a personal mission statement that guides decision-making and helps individuals stay focused on what truly matters to them. By aligning daily actions with this mission, the authors suggest that individuals can lead more purposeful and fulfilling lives. Throughout the book, the authors also emphasize the importance of effective delegation, saying that it's crucial for individuals to prioritize and focus on their strengths, while also developing the skills to delegate tasks effectively to others. The underlying message of First Things First is about self-awareness, prioritization, and a proactive principle-centered approach to managing time. The authors emphasize the need to identify and invest time in activities that align with personal values and long-term goals, thus fostering a more balanced and fulfilling life. My interpretation leans towards the idea that the book aims to guide individuals toward a more balanced and meaningful life by focusing on what's truly important. It encourages a shift from a reactive crisis-driven mindset to a proactive, purpose-driven approach in managing time and priorities. 7 Lessons Learned from First Things First Differentiating urgency from importance, the book emphasizes the need to discern between tasks that are urgent and those that are important. Covey and Merrill stress that significant, long-term goals often lie in the realm of important but non-urgent activities advocating for a focus on these to avoid constantly being reactive to urgent yet less crucial matters. The Time Management Matrix The authors introduce a quadrant-based system that categorizes tasks based on their urgency and importance. Quadrant 2, which encompasses activities crucial for personal development and goal achievement, is highlighted as an area where individuals should invest more time. Proactivity and Principles Central to the book is the idea of being proactive rather than reactive. Covey and Merrill advocate for a principle-centered approach, suggesting that aligning actions with personal values and long-term goals leads to more meaningful and purposeful living. Creating a Personal Mission Statement The book encourages readers to craft a personal mission statement that serves as a guiding principle for decision-making. This statement helps individuals stay focused on their values and long-term objectives, enabling better decision-making aligned with these core principles. Balancing Roles and Goals Covey and Merrill stress the importance of balancing various roles individuals play in life, from professional to personal, while keeping sight of their overarching life goals. Balancing these roles effectively ensures that time and effort are dedicated to all significant areas of life. Effective Delegation Acknowledging one's strengths and limitations is vital. The authors advocate for delegating tasks effectively, allowing individuals to focus on their strengths while entrusting suitable tasks to others, thus enhancing productivity and efficiency. Investing in Relationships the book underscores the significance of nurturing relationships and investing time in meaningful interactions. It promotes spending time on activities that build and strengthen connections, which are often in quadrant two of the time management matrix, fostering personal and professional growth.
These lessons collectively advocate for a paradigm shift in how individuals approach time management, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing values, goals, and long-term visions over immediate, less critical demands. The book offers a holistic framework for achieving a more balanced, purposeful, and effective life. First Things First by Stephen Covey and A. Roger Merrill is a comprehensive guide to time management and personal effectiveness. While I can't provide an exhaustive chapter-by-chapter -chapter summary due to the length and complexity of the book, I'll outline the key concepts and insights from each chapter. Chapter 1, The Clock and the Compass. This chapter sets the stage by introducing the time management matrix, which categorizes tasks into four quadrants based on urgency and importance. It highlights the significance of differentiating between urgent and important tasks. Covey and Merrill stress that while urgent matters demand immediate attention, important activities contribute to long-term goals. Chapter 2, The Urgency Addiction This chapter delves into the concept of the urgency addiction, where individuals are often caught up in a cycle of responding to urgent tasks, neglecting important but non-urgent ones. The authors emphasize the need to break free from this cycle to focus on what truly matters. Chapter 3, The Power of Independent Will Here, the authors discuss the power of independent will. They explore the idea of personal responsibility and the ability to make choices based on principles rather than circumstances. It emphasizes being proactive and taking charge of one's actions and decisions. Chapter 4 the Paradigms of Interdependence This chapter focuses on interdependence and relationships. Covey and Merrill discuss the importance of nurturing healthy relationships and the impact of synergy in collaborative efforts, highlighting the effectiveness of working together towards shared goals. Chapter 5, The Integrity and the Execution Integrity and execution take center stage here. The authors stress the importance of aligning actions with personal values and principles. They discuss the significance of integrity in executing tasks aligned with one's personal mission and values. Chapter 6, The Empowerment of Interdependence This chapter explores delegation and empowerment. Covey and Merrill discuss effective delegation techniques and how empowering others can lead to increased productivity enabling individuals to focus on their strengths and high-value activities. Chapter 7, The Quadrant 2 Tool This chapter extensively discusses Quadrant 2 activities, which are important but not urgent. It offers strategies to identify and prioritize Quadrant 2 tasks, emphasizing long-term planning, goal-setting, and personal development. Chapter 8, The Physical Dimension Focusing on the physical dimension of life, this chapter highlights the importance of self-care, including exercise, nutrition, rest, and stress management. The authors stress that neglecting physical health can impede one's ability to manage time effectively. Chapter 9, The Mental Dimension Addressing the mental dimension, Covey and Merrill discuss the importance of continuous learning, mental stimulation, and creativity. They emphasize activities that enhance mental capabilities and contribute to personal development. Chapter 10, The Emotional Dimension This chapter explores emotional well-being. The authors discuss managing emotions, building emotional intelligence, and fostering healthy relationships as key components of effective time management. Chapter 11, The Spiritual Dimension The final chapter touches upon the spiritual dimension focusing on the need to connect with one's deeper values, beliefs, and sense of purpose. The authors emphasize the importance of aligning one's actions with personal mission and values for a fulfilling life. First Things First provides a comprehensive framework for managing time and priorities, aligning actions with personal values, and focusing on what truly matters. It encourages a shift from a reactive to a proactive mindset aiming for a balanced and purposeful life. If you're intrigued by the principles of effective time management and prioritization, First Things First offers an insightful roadmap for a more purposeful and balanced life.
delve deeper into its transformative concepts by exploring the book. Click the link in the description to get your copy and unlock a wealth of strategies to manage your time and priorities more effectively. If you found this summary helpful, please like and share it with others who might benefit from its invaluable insights. Don't miss out on more enriching book summaries in this category. Subscribe to our channel to receive regular updates on similar thought-provoking reads. Expand your knowledge and enhance your life with these powerful concepts. First Things First stands out in the time management and personal effectiveness genre due to its unique focus on aligning actions with personal values and long-term goals, advocating for a shift from a reactive to a proactive mindset. While many books in this genre address time management techniques, Covey and Merrill emphasize a principle-centered approach, guiding individuals to prioritize what truly matters. For instance, the authors introduce the concept of the time management matrix, categorizing tasks into quadrants based on urgency and importance. They highlight the significance of Quadrant 2, stating, Quadrant 2 is the heart of effective personal management. It deals with things that are not urgent, but are important. This emphasis on importance over urgency is a distinguishing factor. Moreover, the book goes beyond mere task management. It encourages readers to create a personal mission statement to guide decision-making. Covey and Merrill stress the importance of this, stating, it becomes a personal constitution, the basis for making major, life-directing decisions, the basis for making daily decisions in the midst of the circumstances and emotions that affect our lives. Additionally, the holistic approach to balancing various dimensions of life, such as the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, sets this book apart. Covey and Merrill assert, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. This approach of scheduling priorities rather than prioritizing what's on the schedule distinguishes their methodology. While many time management books focus solely on productivity and efficiency, First Things First delves into the deeper aspects of personal fulfillment urging individuals to live in alignment with their core values and long-term visions. This emphasis on a principle-centered, holistic approach to time management sets it apart from other books in the genre. In comparison to other time management books in the same genre, First Things First by Stephen Covey and A. Roger Merrill stands out due to its emphasis on the deeper, more holistic aspects of personal effectiveness. Covey's earlier work, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, shares a foundational philosophy with First Things First, especially regarding principle-centered living, but the latter delves deeper into the practical application of these principles in managing one's time and priorities. While books like David Allen's Getting Things Done focus primarily on task management and productivity, First Things First goes beyond that encouraging readers to identify and focus on what is truly important in their lives. It extends the discussion to life balance, self-awareness, and the prioritization of long-term values over immediate demands. Compared to the traditional time management approaches that solely advocate for efficiency, Covey and Merrill's book integrates a more holistic perspective, discussing the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions of life. This sets it apart from many other time management books in the genre. The book's unique proposition lies in its comprehensive approach to time management, encompassing not just the optimization of tasks but the alignment of actions with personal values and long-term goals. While it shares the foundational principles of proactive living with Covey's earlier work, First Things First goes further in applying these principles to time and priority management, urging individuals to live a more purposeful and balanced life. First Things First appeals to a wide audience facing various life stages, challenges, and aspirations. Here's why it could be relevant. Professionals, for individuals navigating demanding careers, this book offers strategies to balance work and personal life. It addresses the challenges of career advancement while maintaining a fulfilling personal life. Students and young professionals, 
it's relevant for those entering the workforce or pursuing higher education. The book provides insights into time management, goal setting, and aligning actions with personal values, crucial for career and personal development. Entrepreneurs and business leaders, it's beneficial for those in leadership roles. The book emphasizes the importance of effective delegation, prioritization, and maintaining a clear vision, crucial for managing businesses and teams. Individuals seeking balance, for those seeking a more balanced life, especially amidst the demands of modern society, the book's focus on a principle-centered, holistic approach helps in managing time while ensuring personal well-being. People going through life transitions whether starting a new phase in life, experiencing a career change, or seeking personal growth, First Things First offers guidance on aligning actions with core values and long-term goals. Anyone seeking purpose, for individuals searching for purpose or clarity, the book encourages the creation of a personal mission statement, guiding decision-making aligned with their values. The book addresses the universal challenge of balancing urgent demands with important long-term goals. It's relevant to anyone seeking a more purposeful, balanced life, offering insights and practical strategies for managing time and priorities effectively in various life contexts. First Things First isn't just a book on time management, it's a guide to living a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Its significance lies in its profound impact on how individuals approach their time, tasks, and ultimately, their lives. By advocating a shift from urgency to importance, it urges readers to reassess priorities, align actions with values, and forge a path towards a more balanced existence. The book's enduring significance lies in its ability to transform not just how we manage our time, but how we live our lives centered on what truly matters. It's a timeless reminder to focus on the important, not just the urgent, shaping not only our productivity but also our overall well-being and fulfillment. User Absolutely, feedback is incredibly valuable. What did you think about the summary? Did the breakdown of chapters and insights offer a clear understanding of what the book might encompass? Is there anything specific you feel could be expanded upon or presented differently to enhance the understanding and appeal of the book? Your thoughts and suggestions are highly appreciated.